Hello, my name is Marika Sardar and I'm a curator at the Aga Khan Museum. Today we're going to be talking about a tile panel made in Syria in about the 1570s. If you came across this object in our galleries, would you know what all of the symbols on it mean? What you're looking at is a panel composed of 15 tiles that were each painted with part of a larger image. When put together, they form the composition of an arch with a lamp hanging from the center, two sandal prints, and two candlesticks. What do these symbols stand for, and why would they have been put together in this form? Well, the arch itself represents a mihrab, the niche found in the wall in mosques that faces Mecca. Rather than icons of divine or saintly figures, prayer is directed at the niche, and by extension Mecca, in the Muslim faith. Hanging from the top of the arch is a lamp which represents God. This symbol developed in relation to a metaphor elaborated in chapter 24 of the Qur'an, which is titled An-Nur, the Light. Its verse 35 states, God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The semblance of his light is that of a niche in which is a lamp, the flame within a glass, the glass glittering star as it were, put with the oil of a blessed tree, the olive, neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil appears to light up even though fire touches it not, light upon light. This association is underlined by the word God written at the top of the lamp. The phrase underneath is the Muslim profession of faith, there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger, which signals the Prophet Muhammad's central role in spreading God's message. Just next to the lamp and reinforcing this idea are two sandal prints. What you might be surprised to learn is that these represent the Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad's sandals came to symbolize his presence and acquired relic-like status because they had come into physical contact with him and because he wore them during his ascent to the heavens, an event known as the Mihraj. The sandals themselves were initially kept in Damascus in Syria and drawings were made by tracing the outline of the sandal from the 1100s on. Gradually, these representations became more and more stylized, achieving the form seen here with a trefoil heel and a pointed toe. Below are two lighted candles which signal illumination in the Divine Presence. Together, these metaphoric representations indicate God, His light and wisdom, Muhammad's proximity to God, and the illumination the believer derives from them both and from prayer directed to the mihrab. Originally, the panel would have been attached to the wall of a religious building, most likely a mosque. In fact, it's very similar to panels found in a 16th century mosque in Damascus. It's notable that the Prophet's sandals were still in Damascus at the time this panel was made, adding another layer of resonance to this intriguing work of art.